Happy New Year and Merry Christmas if you're celebrating it. And I hope you guys had a wonderful year. It was definitely amazing for me and this channel. I really appreciate your support. You guys are awesome. And in the new year, I hope, I hope we could improve together to a whole new level. I hope you noticed uh, this video is a 360 video and you, know, you can move around. If you're using a computer, you can use your mouse to drag around to see the surroundings. And this is my first time incorporating VR into my videos. Let me know what you think. So, in today's video, I'll be talking about several serves and some not boring ways to practice them. If you're doing well in those exercises, you can reward yourself with your uh, favorite drink or your favorite food. Cheers. Setting barriers is an effective and fun way to practice serving. First, let's review backspin ghost serve. Our goal is to let the ball go through and bounce back in between the two cans. Notice we have two lanes for the serve. The shorter one here is farther for the opponent to reach. The longer one here is harder to be pushed back short on the table. Now once you've mastered this distance, you can increase the difficulty by shifting the barrier and decreasing the gap. This exercise trains precision of placement and pureness of backspin. Now, any deviation or impurity will cause the ball to miss the gap. For a more detailed tutorial on this serve, check out my Decoding Marlins Go Serve video. Now you may want to add some side spin or cork spin to your backspin serves. So now we can do it this way. And we can have a short one that goes like this, or we can have a longer one that, uh, with more side spin or cork spin on it that goes like this. This exercise helps us to understand combination of spins. When there is more backspin on the ball, it tends to curve more sharply back. Whereas the ball with more sight or cork spin tends to produce a smoother and wider curve. After this exercise, you'll be able to easily control the extent of each spin on your serve. If you want to add more um, sight spin and cork spin, like uh, to make the spin curve even more, like with a tiny serve. Here, I want the ball to go through the first door, then curve behind the middle four cans and finish passing through the side door. We see a 90 degree angle turn of the ball. Remember to have enough backspin on the ball combined with lots of corkscrew spin by rubbing the bottom of the ball and swinging towards your stomach. For more detailed tutorial on the surf, check out my Decoding Mizutani Surf video. Now we'll do some fast long serves. So this one's to their forehand, uh, backhand, and then this is to their middle, towards a little bit towards uh, forehand. So they have a hard time moving. Notice we can add some extent of backspin or topspin to the serve. By punching the ball down onto the table, we create some backspin like these three. By hitting forward, we put some top spin on the ball. We master this exercise when you can hit any target as you like.
Now let's talk about reverse pendulum. The regular grip won't do. So curl your three fingers at the back of your racket. By curling your fingers and moving your thumb, the handle lies on top of your arm, which gives you much more room. Wait, let me get up. Stand with your left foot in front of your right, like so, and lean forward. Raise your center of gravity like this by lifting your left foot. Then raise your racket and your arm. At the peak, fix your elbow as the pivot and drop your forearm like a pendulum. Now, as the reaction force makes it swing back, add force that is directed away from you. This is when you contact the ball. Lower your gravity back down. Let's do it again. Here, notice my elbow is at the highest point and my arm is relaxed and can swing back and forth. At this point, think yourself as a crab holding up the two claws. So like this. And at this point too, but in a different angle. Your body should rotate counterclockwise in this process. Don't contact the ball far away from your body. Toss the ball so that it's underneath you, then contact. There are three different placements. Forehand short, backhand short, backhand long. Adjust the direction of your brush accordingly. Ma Long has a different stroke from Fan Yen Dong. His elbow stays lower and the movement is shorter. This helps him to create backspin comparing to Fan Yen Dong's serves, which are mostly side and top spin.